Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Grace and this is my first YouTube video actually. Um yeah, this is this video is going to be about five different ways you can fill in your sketchbook. Whether you don't have any inspiration, you are having a little art vlog session. I hope this video actually, you know, inspires you to get back into art or if you're reaching branching out into art. Yeah. Anyway, so firstly, I'm finding my reference and Pinterest is your best friend. Go on Pinterest if you want some inspiration. Right here, I'm, I'm trying to set up my little clip thingy, but I was struggling. 2,000 years later. Alright, so number one is studies. You can do any type of study. There are no rules whatsoever when it comes to art. You do you, alright? You can do studies on animals, flowers, portraits, and even from your favorite artist. So for this video, I decided to do a study on poses, mainly because it's been a while since I've drawn poses, and it's something that I'd like to improve on. But the thing is, I'm just going to let you guys know, I did not finish the spread. I only drew two poses, but at least I drew a couple, you know? Anyways, I don't have a specific way when it comes to drawing in general like portraits poses um sometimes i use guidelines and then sometimes i just do what feels right i don't know if that makes sense but um yeah here i'm i drew guidelines for the head where it should be and after that i just i just eyeballed it you know if i'm being honest i don't really know what to say this is my first voiceover too and i'm kind of i'm trying to get used to it you know but i think i can talk about the process Anyway, so I use my kneaded eraser to um, to pick up the lead, and after that, I go on with my pencil and darken up the lines, and I continue to refine the sketch, add details, and so on, and yeah.
number two, line of action. Line of action allows you to be very loose with your art. You don't have to worry about drawing something exactly for what it is. I feel like when it comes to sketchbooks, people think that you should have nice cohesive spreads. Each page should be filled with nice, lovely, detailed work, but that's not the case. Your sketchbook is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. You can have an experimental sketchbook where you discover new styles, or you can have one where if you want, your every page should be nice and clean and detailed, but you do you. So right here, I switched to doing gesture drawings, and you guys, I cannot draw feet to save my life. The feet look like triangular blobs. Like, what is this? I really need to do a study on feet. I don't know when, but sometime soon. So to add some flavor to it, I took a colored pencil and outlined the faces and drew some lines to it, you know? And um, here is how the second spread turned out. The guy right here looks like he's smirking and I kind of like him, not gonna lie. Number three, draw from life. So for this one, I took a used Coke bottle and used it as my reference to draw. So I took my Arteza colored pencils and I took the colors that I wanted to use for this, which were blues and then blues and reds. And then after that, I sketched it out. So first, I used my color pencil to make my initial sketch. Then after, you'll see, I take my, my black pen and just go over it and add some detail, you know, refine it. And yeah. Next, I drew my paintbrush holder thingy. Yeah, and um, I did the same technique I did with the Coke. For both of them, I had planned on drawing them realistically, but instead I went for a more graphic slash illustrator style, mainly because I, I wanted to venture out to new styles and I kind of enjoy this too. So next, I decided to draw my brother while he was playing on his Xbox, and I didn't tell him, so he was moving around, so the sketch is kind of wonky, but it's alright. And for this one, I was just mindlessly drawing really loosely, not caring about details. Anyways, here's a clip of what he was playing. With this sketch, I didn't really worry too much about adding so much detail and depth. I think I used my HB pencil, and I just went at it. Number four, monochrome sketches. So with this one, I don't really have many pages in my sketchbook where that are monochrome sketches, but I do have a couple. So with this one, I went on Pinterest again and I found a reference and I started drawing it. For this one, I wanted it to be stylized, but also semi-realistic, but leaning more on the stylized side. So I think it's somewhat good. But again, this is all for fun, so don't worry too much about, oh, my sketch doesn't look good or this and that. Just do it for fun. Do it for you. Have fun while you're doing this. And yeah.
one thing I want to say is I think that monochrome sketches is a good practice because you can learn how to see value in color like how dark or how light you should make a, ter a certain color and yeah so here I found another reference on Pinterest of a cat because one I don't draw animals in my sketchbook much and I thought while I'm doing this I should draw things that I don't usually draw to also improve and this cat is so good looking I kid you not and that donut looks good too Next I drew a guy, new guys, those hands. I had to zoom in because y'all, they look so good. You know how artists, their one struggle is hands? Well, yeah, I had to show that off real quick. Anyway, so I drew some birds and ice cream, and then after that, a flower on the side to finish the spread. So here is how this spread turned out. You guys, this has to be my favorite spread in my sketchbook because one, the cat, the cat looks so good. And to those hands that I drew, I am so proud of myself, but I hope you try this out and see what you could do. Last but not least, ink sketches. You guys, I have so many pages in my sketchbook where I just grabbed a pen and just doodled, whether it be random scribbles or I found a reference on Pinterest and decided to draw it. I feel like with a pen, it doesn't really matter if you make mistakes because you're using a pen. So don't be too hard on yourself, just do random stuff. You can draw from life like this one I just showed you. Or you just go on Pinterest again. Pinterest is your best friend. Find a reference you like. Or just mindlessly doodle while watching your favorite YouTuber. And yeah. So right here I went on Pinterest and I found a reference I've been meaning to draw for a while. So I take my pen, I start sketching it out. I didn't really worry about the proportions, though it's kind of wonky, but it's for fun. So I took a color pencil, wrote in the background to fill up my sketchbook a little bit, and um, yeah. So here is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I inspired you, motivated you to get back into drawing. Or if you've been out of ideas lately and you just need some ideas, I hope this helped you. I do plan on making another video on five more ways how to fill in your sketchbook. So, yeah. If you like the video, please leave a like and maybe a comment. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.